I get the feeling I know where that door goes. I'm sorry, I missed my headshot. That's not what I wanted to do. Okay. His head is gone. Is that a typewriter? Right there? No, it's a radio. Okay. I was like, huh, that guy's really classic, really old school. Underwater tunnel. Ooh, I. That sounds fun. I can't wait to get to that because I'm sure we will. Okay, I am curious. I'm pretty sure I know where this is goes. Okay, it is different. I totally thought that was like the door that connected to the hallway. Like. The one that was, um, where the top door we couldn't could go through. <laughs> That's not what I was aiming for, but it works. Can I, um, just kind of... Is he talking about this door? I have no idea what that did. Whose room is this and why did they get such a special room, right?
Sorry, dude. It's just your uh, existence now. It's just being electrocuted constantly. It is cool that like when you're on a certain weapon, it does highlight where it is on the D-pad. Damn, I got his head with that too. This, I don't mind not having the laser sight and the shotgun too much because that has a pretty generous spread. But it is still is a tad annoying. Also, it totally seems like the music... Oh, you... Like... You can turn on that, which is cool. I don't get why it's kind of choosy on some of the stuff you can turn on, some of the stuff you can't. I know, I'm wasting ammo here. It's just one of those little things. I'm not saying everything you... C you can interact with needs to be useful. I'm just saying it's fun because it makes the world feel more believable and it makes you feel more like you're in the world. Great. It's locked. <laughs> Great. It's locked. My controller's vibrating a lot. This is looking uh, bad. Health pack, that feels good. <laughs> I bet I know where this goes. The damn thing's stuck. Oh yeah, that is a door.
definitely glad there's not an actual timer here. Yeah. Well, I think there's only one other way to go. Um, I'm going to double check again because I'm, I think there's more st more doors upstairs. Or was it just this one? Oh yeah, because you had all this. You need to check his lower half. All right. Well, I think we, I know where, like, what way we have to go. And yeah, I. <laughs> I'm gonna assume we're not gonna be stuck like this because, like, there is a bit of a vision impairment when you're infected. At least things are a little blurrier. It's not like so bad that you can't uh like figure out what's going on, but it is there. Ring, it's locked. I love this guy's enthusiasm for locked doors. Ring, it's locked. I could have done that better. <laughs> So I have no idea if I actually wanted to go up. I purely interacted with it because I wasn't sure what it did. So down the elevator we go again. Because I'd rather take care of the doors down here. Is this? I think this is the door we came in from, right? Underwater tunnel, yeah.
Okay, that's a very just small transition. We have observed that electrical discharges have no effect on the exocell's neural network. However, once the exocell has taken the taken control of a body, control of a body, both the XL and its host are vulnerable to any source of electricity. In fact, prolonged exposure to a strong electric charge results in death. As a precaution, we have electrified the floors. Sorry. As a precaution, we have electrified the floors in the experimental chamber. This system is only to be used in case of an extreme emergency. Damn. There's always the old fashioned way, you know? I thought the laser would have killed it. Also, I have to say, I am as a James Bond fan, I am reminder, r reminded of Goldfinger. <laughs> oh, my flight. Ugh. Theory, I swear to God, if the character does not realize that he's infected now, I'm going to be really pissed. <laughs> I'm going to be really mad because how can it be that he was knocked out before, got infected, realized it, but this time he doesn't realize it? Don't try to tell me he was knocked out hard or anything. Like, No, it's dumb. He knows he's he's been infected before. He knows how it feels. So there's no reason why he wouldn't be able to tell this time. I can't help thinking that these creatures have great potential. If we could learn how to reproduce and harness the way they alter their hosts, the results could be decisive. Yusapov wants me to create beasts, things that can be used to kill. He fails to see how we could use the exiles to improve life. Nevertheless, he has Anna and thus I am forced to obey, at least for now. I have been merging exocells with subjects. Yusasov has forced me to use humans lately, and then trying to guide the mutations that result. I've made some monsters for Yusasov. Let, let us see what I can make for myself. <laughs> 